In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some failed card mechanics in the form of some failed cards that never really saw competitive play. First, let's take a look at the card, Mother Spider. Mother Spider is a level 6 dark insect type monster, which was released in the same set as Gateway of the Six, Jin Releaser of Rituals, Archlord Christia, and Level Eater. Now, what does Mother Spider and these other four cards have in common? Well, they were absolutely game-breaking, and all had their moments to shine as centerpieces in competitive meta decks, or currently exist on the ban list for being way too strong. Oh, I'm sorry, that explains four of the cards, not Mother Spider. Mother Spider never saw any competitive play, as what this card does is if you only have insect-type monsters in your graveyard, you can send two face-up defense position monsters your opponent controls to the graveyard to special summon this card from your hand. Now on surface level, this actually sounds pretty good. It's a plus one in card advantage as it denies your opponent's two resources in order to special summon a decently high attack monster from your hand. Although the devil is in the details, its requirement to use this effect is to only have insect type monsters in your graveyard and your opponent needs to have face up defense position monsters. And its conditions require at least one insect type monster in your graveyard. You can't get around its condition by not having any monsters in your graveyard. You need to be able to ditch one there first before you can even think about activating its effect. And then you have the effect itself, which requires two of your opponent's monsters to be in defense position. Luckily, Mother Spider was released alongside a small spider sub archetype, which helped it put monsters in defense position with cards like Ground Spider, where if you control this 1500 defense monster in face up defense position, and your opponent normal or special summons a monster, you can change that monster to defense position. Or the field spell card Spiderweb, which basically gives all monsters the goblin attack force downside, where they're chained to defense position after attacking. And then Spider's Lair, which allows you to target an insect type monster you control, which can change monsters it battles to defense position if you decide to crash into something. Oh wait, Spider's Lair wasn't actually released until a year after Mother Spider came out. But they did also have Koaki Mera Beetle, which isn't a spider but is insect support, that was released alongside Mother Spider, which changes light and dark monsters to defense position when they're summoned. And you can see they tried really hard to have defense position support with the release of this card. However, all of the spider cards were just a little bit too incredibly weak. And for some reason they randomly released Spire's Lair a year later, which didn't really help them out very much. Although Mother Spider is just so full of potential, the effect is basically denying your opponent of two resources in order to special summon a card from your hand. It's removal that's conditional to its special summoning, which means it can't be negated. 2300 attack isn't half bad for being able to get rid of two of your opponent's cards. The problem is just something that plagues all cards that revolve around changing monsters to defense position as part of their core gimmick. It requires your opponent to have a game state that you can't control, and requires you to interact with your opponent's monsters in a way that doesn't destroy them, so that you can gain effects through cards like Mother Spider. You could play something like Earthquake to change all of your opponent's cards into defense position, or you could use Raigeki to just get rid of all of them instead. Or Lightning Vortex, as Raigeki was banned at the time of Mother Spider's introduction. Or you could instead just try to get four Light Sworn monsters in your graveyard to blow up the entire field with Judgment Dragon, who was legal and definitely out in the metagame around the same time as Mother Spider's introduction. Basically, the problem with changing monsters to defense position is why go through the trouble of doing that when you can just destroy the cards instead? Or if you're going to play Floodgates whose sole purpose is to change monsters to defense position, like Koaki Mira Beetle or Ground Spider, why don't you just play something like Archlord Christia or one of the barrier statues to stop your opponent from summoning monsters in the first place? Defense position mechanics are kind of a lesser version of destruction or good floodgating, and is kind of a relic of the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! which, granted, Mother Spider was still kind of in the early days. They came out in 2009, during the height of the Synchro era, which was only the first new summoning mechanic added to the game at that point, unless you count Gemini summoning. There's also the problem that Mother Spider requires the cards to be face up. Flipping monsters into face down defense position is honestly pretty good, even in the modern era. Cards like Book of Eclipse and Ultimate Conductor Tyranno have effects to flip all cards on the field face down and absolutely see competitive play because face-down cards cannot be used as materials for extra deck plays besides fusion monsters, so it's a legitimate way to shut down something while also stopping it from attacking or activating its effects. Because face-up monsters can still use their effects, so changing a card to face-up defense position only stops them from attacking and not really anything else. 
If Mother Spider could trigger on face down defense position cards, it would be 10 times better. The fact that they have to be in face up defense position kind of assured it never saw any competitive play. Honestly, if it could target face down cards, I think it might have seen competitive play here or there. A short time after Mother Spider came out, they released a card called Reptilian Vasquee, which is kind of a power crep version of Mother Spider, which came out only three months after, which has the effect on a 2600 attack monster that you can tribute two face up monsters with zero attack from anywhere on the field to special summon this card from your hand, which allows you to use your own monsters or your opponents instead of only just your opponent's cards. And it doesn't have any restrictions about requiring reptiles in your grave, so it can be played in any deck, and even has a respectable effect once it hits the field, where once per turn you can destroy a face up monster your opponent controls without any kind of restriction on types or targets or anything. It's basically everything Mother Spider wanted to be, and then some. And Reptilian Vashkii actually saw competitive play when Dragon Rulers came out, because it could summon itself off of your opponent's Dracosac tokens, and then just destroy Dracosac itself with its effect. Although even this new and improved Mother Spider didn't stay meta-relevant for very long, and kinda stopped seeing play immediately after the first band wave that hit Dragon Rulers. Although there is a little bit of hope for Mother Spider, it did see some play in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, a more speedy format of the game that allows you to have 20 cards in your deck. Now, don't get me wrong, Mother Spider wasn't part of any kind of dominant meta deck over there. It only saw play in part of a halfway competent deck that could sometimes win games. You see, Duel Links has his hand trap called Sphere Karibo, which never saw any competitive play in the TCG, but is an absolute staple in Duel Links that has constantly seen play ever since it came out in the first set over there. And all it does is allow you to change a monster who was attacking to defense position by discarding this card from your hand. So this is perfect. With a limited field of only three monsters, Sphere Karibo can stop one third of your opponent's attacks for the turn, which can sometimes be enough to allow you to survive until your next turn, and even leaving one of your opponent's monsters on this side of the field in defense position. And I'm sure you can see the synergy it had with Mother Spider. Until you remember that Mother Spider only works with insect type monsters in your graveyard, and Sphere Karibo is not, in fact, an insect, and enjoys a space in your graveyard after using its effect. So, even in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, where they have a meta-relevant card that's all about changing monsters at face-down defense position, it wasn't able to catch a break over there. Although, even without being able to use Sphere Karibo, you still can take liberal use of cards like Windstorm of Aqua or Curse of Anubis, to stall out a battle phase and flip your opponent's cards to face-up defense position, and then search out Mother Spider with Resonant Insect in order to get rid of your opponent's field, and then swing for game with the 2300 attack beater, which is half of your opponent's life points. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links really is the place for cards like Mother Spider to shine. There are a lot of archetypes and cards that saw heavy use over there which never saw the light of day in the normal TCG. And Mother Spider is not one of them. However, it wasn't half bad if you heavily supplemented its effects with good cards whereas it couldn't compete at all in the TCG. So basically, you could have rogue success with Mother Spider during one format in Duel Links, and it never had any kind of rogue success in the TCG. All right, and I guess that's it for the Mother Spider video. If you know of any other cards, mechanics, but not full archetypes that fit the theme of this video, I'd love to hear about them down in the comments. The next video in this little mini-series will be going over life point gain trap cards and why they don't really see competitive play.